بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغلق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي إلى صراطك المستقيم وعلى آله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم As we prepare our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam annual weekend in America, we would like to welcome this great weekend. This great day of the birth of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which is April, April the 20th according to many scholars which will correspond to Rabi al Awal the 12th according to the majority or according to the most famous narration, Rabi al Awal the 12th was the birth night or birthday of Sayyidina Rasulullah. But before we go to the details of the birth date and birthplace of the Prophet, we would like to <clears throat> go through his lineage as the scholars used to do when they talk about the seerah of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu So we are going to open these every, this everyday seerah from now on to the day 20 which is going to be the great event we do organize with all of you, inshallah, here in America, as we have been doing so the last seven years. We will start this everyday sira with the nisib of the Prophet <laughs> Sayyiduna Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam His name is Muhammad Son of Abdullah Son of Shaiba Son of Hashim Shaiba is Abdul Muttalib Why we call him Shaiba and call him Abdul Muttalib We'll discuss it Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib ibn Shaiba ibn Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim Hashim is Amr ibn Abdul Manaf Abdul Manaf is Mughira ibn Qusay Qusay is Zayd ibn Kilab Kilab is Urwa or Hakim, according to some. Ibn Murrah, Ibn Ka'ab, Ibn Luwi, Ibn Ghalib, Ibn Vedr, Urwa Quraysh, according to some scholars. Ibn Malik, Ibn Naq, Ibn Kinana, Ibn Fuzayma, Ibn Mudrika, Ibn Ilyas, Ibn Mubarak, Ibn Nizar, Ibn Ma'ad, Ibn Adilah. 
when the people of lineage used to continue or used to count up to Adnan, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mas'ud would say, Kadhaba Nasabun, when they go beyond Adnan and they want to um, count the uh, great grandfathers of the Prophet ﷺ between Adnan and Ismail, because some are added, some are taken away from the list. Uh, it is without any doubt that he is from the offspring of Sayyidina Ibrahim, from the offspring of Sayyidina Nuh, from the offspring of Sayyidina Idris, from the offspring of Sayyidina Sheikh Ibn Adam Ali's. So he, his father's side is Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Shiba ibn Hashim ibn Abdi Manaf ibn Qusay ibn Kilab ibn Murrah ibn Ka'ab ibn Luwai ibn Ghalib ibn Zahir ibn Malik ibn Nabr ibn Kinanata ibn Khuzaymata ibn Mudritata ibn Ilyas ibn Nizar ibn Ma'ad ibn Adullah from his mother's side, his mother's name was Sayyidatuna Amina bin Tuwahab, Amina bin Tuwahab, Ibn Abdi Manaf, Ibn Zuhra, Ibn Kila, Ibn Murra, Ibn Ka'ab, Ibn Lui, Ibn Ghalib, Ibn Zahir, Ibn Malik, Ibn Nadr, Ibn Kinanat, Ibn Khuzaymat, Ibn Mutrikat, Ibn Ilyas, Ibn Mubar, so his mother and father meet at Kila. Zora, Ibn Kila, Osay, Ibn Kila. Why do we name Kila? Some say no, because he was uh, like, uh, he was very um, brave when he met his, his enemies. That's why they used to call him Kila. Inshallah, we are going to um, see the lineage of the Prophet Sallallahu from his father's side in uh, more detail. What do I mean by that? We will go from Ma'at to Sayyiduna Abdullah and see the children of each of these great grandfathers of the Prophet وسلم, as mentioned by Ibn, Hish Ibn Hisham in his great Sira. Ma'at Son of Adnan, <clears throat> according to Ibn Hisham and many other scholars, had four children Nizar ibn Ma'at, Uta'atu ibn Ma'at, Qunas ibn Ma'at, and Iyad ibn Ma'at. Uta'a was the oldest, but Nizar is the one whom we need here. Nizar had three. Mubar ibn Nizar, Rabi'at ibn Nizar, Anmar ibn Nizar. Mubar had two, Ilyas ibn Mubar, Ailan ibn Mubar. Ilyas, according to the scholars, when he went around the Kaaba making tawaf, people of the Muslim would hear the light of the Prophet ﷺ making rik while he had the Prophet Sallallahu alive with him. And you find that in many serious book. That is one of the irhasat of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Irhas is a miracle that is not a mu'jiza. It is a miracle that is showing the greatness of what of of, of the person or the great things that will happen that, that will, will, will be happening 
I mean the life of this, this person or the greatness that this person is the person is going to reach. Elias had um, three children. Mudrika to Ibn Elias, Qabiha Ibn Elias, and Qama'a Ibn Elias. Mudrika had two, Khuzayma Ibn Mudrika, Hudayim Ibn Mudrika. Khuzayma had four, Kinana to Ibn Khuzayma, Asad Ibn Khuzayma, Asadat Ibn Khuzayma, al Rul Ibn Khuzayma. Kinana had four, Anab Ibn Kinana, Malik ibn Kinana, Yahlud ibn uh, <coughs> Nadr ibn Kinana, Malik ibn Kinana, Abdul Manata ibn Kinana, and Milkan ibn Kinana. Nadr had two, Malik ibn Nadr and Yahlud ibn Nadr. Malik had one, and that one is fair. And I told you that uh, some of the scholars say Quraysh comes from the name. Uh, comes from Fehr, one of the nicknames of Fehr was Quraysh, and this has also a um, uh, details that we, inshallah, will talk about. And Fehr had four, Ghali ibn Fehr, Al-Harib ibn Fehr, Al-Harib ibn Fehr, and Asad ibn Fehr. Who we need here? Ghalib. Ghalib had two, Luay ibn Ghalib, and Tayyip, Ibn Ghalib. Luay had four, Ka'ab ibn Luay, Aamir ibn Luay, Samad ibn Luay, Aouf ibn Luay. And Ka'ab had three, Murra ibn Ka'ab, Adi ibn Ka'ab, Usais ibn Ka'ab. Murra had three, Tilaab ibn Murra, Taim ibn Murra, and Yaqawa ibn Murra. Tilaab had to Qusay ibn Kilab, Zuhratu ibn Kilab. Qusay had four, four boys and two girls. So from